Hey there, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we're going to conquer a galaxy, repel fascism, play hide and seek with Slender Man, touch Final Fantasy's pixels, defend against some more attacks, but as a star robot, and investigate a mysterious island. Let's go! The first game for today, Galaxy at War. It is a space online strategy. As well as any decent online game, this one gives you the opportunity to make alliances with other real players, to fight with them, to gather up a huge fleet, etc. The strategic component, besides diplomacy, has you investigate space, explore different planets, and create buildings on them. Also, you collect different kinds of space crap and sell it, so generally a full set of interesting things. The second game is called Little Commander World War II TD. It is a classical tower defense game about World War II. You're attacked from one side of a road by a crowd of enemies, but this time it is fascists. Your task? Don't allow them to reach the other end of the map, placing in their way various things that shoot and kill. These things cost money which you get by killing enemies, and as any such game the balance is maintained, so you won't be able to physically construct too much for defense. Also, you can use money to level up and improve already existing guns and turrets. Today's third game, Project Slender. In regards to Slender Man, there were already so many games that I found it difficult to tell how many exactly, and yet, here's one more. Well, as always, its gameplay consists in wandering around with a small flashlight in a location and collecting notes. This time, the location isn't the woods, but in a big, empty, abandoned building. In my opinion, too empty, but no game about Slender Man seems to have outstanding design anyway. The more notes you collect, the higher your chances are that you'll run into this scary person without eyes. Generally, it's a typical game of this rather limited genre. Next up, pretty much everyone has heard about it, but not everyone has seen Final Fantasy. So meet Final Fantasy VI. It is an RPG, of course. It is very old, hello pixel art, very hardcore, and very Japanese. No, it's not about hentai in case you were wondering. I mean, it's got the standard turn-based battles and even a bigger set of various dialogues. In general, the action happens in a very interesting world, and in the essence of the game, the dialogue component here is just as important as the fighting system and other things. The game is considered to be a certain milestone in the history of RPGs, and it is worth getting acquainted with at least for the sake of adding to your overall game experience. Soldiers Star Landing is the name of our next game for today. It is also a tower defense, and it is not about war with arachnids, though the name is similar. Well, it is already the fourth game of a soldier series, and this time it is in the style of a space fantasy. In the same way we build and upgrade guns to each pass a set of missions. A distinctive feature of the game series is that all the characters are like toys, the kind of toys that shoot flamethrowers and lasers at each other. The style is funny and the gameplay is standard for this genre. In general, it's a cool game. Well, and finally we make an experiment, or should I say we'll play experiment as it's the name of the game. It is a strategy game where the main goal is to research some mysterious island. A group of scientists is looking for a fallen satellite, and on the way they run into all sorts of strange stuff. Here you have to create buildings, grow food, and make your way through the jungle. Everything is drawn quite bright and vibrant, and the only irritating thing is having to manually collect resources. It is a common feature of all such mobile strategy games, and damn, we already know how cool it is to tap on the screen. Whoopee! Come on! Make games already where mine coins gather themselves for crying out loud. All it does here is make you waste time doing it yourself, which gets old really fast. Oh well, despite that annoyance, in general the game is rather playable. Well, that's all for today. Follow our channel, like stuff, and leave comments. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!